close your eyes, watch your breath, and keep an eye on the mind too to make sure that it stays with the breath. If it shows any signs of wandering off, redouble your efforts. Try to notice where you feel the breathing most clearly and see if you can make it comfortable. It gives you something to do in the present moment. You can try long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light. See what kind of breathing feels good now. And try to keep on top of the needs of the body because they will change as the mind settles down. We focus our attention on the breath because it's very close to the mind. It's like a mirror for the mind. If there's something unusual in the breath, it's usually a sign there's something unusual going on in the mind. Because that's what we're after, after all. As the Buddha said, it's not because of the, the breath that we suffer, it's because of the mind's activities that we suffer. And so we want to be able to watch them. This is why we're mindful, because we tend to forget to watch ourselves. We just plunge into a thought world, what the Buddha calls becoming, where you take on an identity in a particular world of experience. And there are so many worlds of experience you could think about right now. You could think about home, you could think about the other side of the world. Think about where you were yesterday, where you want to go next month. All these places you could go, but you can't watch the mind as you go to those places in the mind. You're trying to watch the workings. For that, you have to step back, and the breath gives you a good place to step back to. So try to stay with the breath and keep an eye on the mind. That way, when the mind begins to move into things, you begin to notice, okay, this is how the mind creates suffering. Lumpu Dun, who was a student of Ajahn Man, said, that, said that's, just, that's what suffering is. The mind goes out into its thought worlds, and the path to prevent that is to watch the mind. So remember, this is where you want to stay. This is the frame of reference you want to be in. You don't want to go into those other worlds. When the mind says that something is true, something is valid, why? What's going on? Who, who made the decision? When it says something is good or something is bad, who made the decision? You want to see the decision-making process to see if it was well made or if you simply jump to conclusions. This is one of the worst things you can do as a meditator, is see something that looks good in the mind and jump to the conclusion that's got to be good. You've got to watch. You've got to hold back. I mean, that's how we've been going through our lives all along, is just jumping into things. Now it's time to pull back a little bit and watch, to see what's worth going with, what's not worth going with. And you begin to realize more and more that the safest place for the mind to be is often just watching itself so that it doesn't lose perspective. That's way, that way, at least, it keeps itself safe. <laughs>